Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the washer lid switch. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new lid switch. On one end you have the electrical connection that plugs into the wiring harness. On the other end you have the switch. This particular switch has a metal shield on it. It may appear a little bit different than the switch in the video, but they change out the same way. The main reason you'd be changing out the lid switch is if somehow the lid got dropped on it and damaged the switch, or it's shorted out inside and is no longer telling the washer that the lid's closed and it won't go into the spin cycle. The first thing we have to do is to remove the control panel. It's usually held in place by two screws. They're located in either the front or the rear of the control panel. Some models have trim covers that you have to lift off to gain access to the screws. And on other models, they have spring clips that you have to slip a putting knife underneath to release them. Once you have your screws out, slide the control panel forward about a half an inch and lift it back over the back of the machine. With the console out of the way, we have to go ahead and disconnect the lid switch and remove the two retaining spring clips that hold the body to the frame. With a flathead screwdriver, just pry them out. Next we have to go ahead and remove the body from the frame of the washer. So we have to lift up on the lid and grab the body right here. Put your foot against the body of the machine. Tilt the body up to a 45 degree angle and lift it off the machine. First thing you have to do is remove the electrical connector from the body. It's held in by two locking tabs, one on each side. All you have to do is press them in and then press down on the switch. Underneath the lid is where the switch is actually mounted. It's held in by two Phillips screws. So we go ahead and remove those. Don't worry if the switch falls down inside the cabinet. We're going to be going to change it out anyways. In order to change out the lid switch, we have to lay the machine on its front. So go ahead and put a towel on the floor to protect the front of the machine and the floor. Once you have a towel down, we can go ahead and grab the machine body and lay it down on the floor carefully. With the washer body on its front, we now have access to the area where the lid switch is. Now we're going to remove the ground wire, which is a 5 16 nut. There's two retaining clips holding the wiring harness in. You have to take a small flathead screwdriver and pry up on it while pulling the wire out. Here's our new lid switch, all ready to be installed. If you have one, great. If not, you can always get one at AppliancePartsPros.com. Go and get your flathead screwdriver, pry out the metal pieces, put your wiring harness in, Reinstall the grounding screw with your 5 16 inch nut driver. All right, before we switch the body standing up, we're going to go ahead and put the wiring harness back in the frame hole, make sure it locks into place. To finish up installing the lid switch, we have to go ahead and pick the machine body back up so we can uh, put in the screws. Reach underneath the lip of the machine, grab the switch, lift the lid switch up, and line up the holes so the screws will go in, and put them in. Now that you had the lid switch installed onto the body, we can go ahead and reinstall the body back on the frame. In order to put the body back onto the frame, we have to do it the exact same way that we took it off. So go ahead and lift up the lid, 
grab the lip of the body, put your foot at the base, tilt it up 45 degrees, and carry it back over to the machine and put it on. When you're sliding the body back onto the frame, make sure you get the lower lip underneath the frame, and then lower it down onto the four locking tabs. So just go ahead and hook the clips onto the back panel, and with your flathead screwdriver, push them down into place. Reconnect the lid switch. To close up the console, all you do is rotate it forward over the front of the machine. Make sure the locking tabs lock in place. Pull it back about a half an inch and replace the screws. Now that you have the machine reassembled, you can go ahead and plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a test spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.